Guys, welcome to this week's episode of DOSBite. Now, in this week's episode, don't go anywhere because I thought I'd just show you briefly how to use DOSBox, which is a great emulator if you want a modern computer and you want to play your old DOS games. Now, I'm sure many of you probably know how to use this or DOS, but I'm assuming as you're watching this video that you just want to have a rough guide into how to use it. So bear with me. Now, you, you can easily download it if you just type in DOSBox in Google, you can go to downloads, and I think the newest version is still 0.74, I'm not sure why it's called that, it's just what it is, but there might be a newer version, but they're all quite similar. So as you can see, it looks like DOS, and if you're getting value from this video, don't forget to subscribe and like and share this video with family and friends. So as you can see there, you've got the directly ready to go, and it shows Z for whatever reason, and a little safe thing I would highly recommend is within your C drive, make a subfolder or directly called games because it's just easier for DOS to uh, use and it's just a safe place and you've got no chance of accidentally deleting any of your files and programs within DOSBox. So I've used, um, <laughs> I've actually got a separate hard drive and it's a, a um, folder called games. So to start off, you basically type in, if I can just get to the keyboard, uh, and you type in mount uh, E, which is the whatever, you can actually make that whatever letter you want. It's usually the drive that the folder's on, um, but you can name it anything. I don't think it actually matters. And then you just uh, tap spacebar, type C again, C, sorry, E even, E colon backslash, and then the folder you've named, it doesn't have to be called games, this is just an example, you can call it whatever you want. And there, it should do it. And it hasn't done it. Do you know why it hasn't done it? I'll show you why. Uh, because I've actually put a colon next to the name, and it doesn't like that. So let's try that again. There we go, so we're now mounted to E. And a brief little bit of programming for you is the DRR. D-I-R, can't talk this morning. <laughs> and that will show you the directly that's inside there, which is really cool. Um, now, basically, if you type in, this actually gives you what's inside the DOS box directly. So if you type in the um, letter that you put in, the E colon, space bar, then D-I-R, it should, there we go, give you all your games, which is really cool. So as you can see there, I've got things like Prince of Persia, Sam, Steel Empire, a thing called Face, that's quite funny actually, you just type in Face and it comes up with Faces, which is a bit random, there you go, you can see that bounce around. Uh, <laughs> it's a little silly program and I've got lots of little programs here. And this is very easy to use, now if you want to use um, a CD uh, drive, if I just go up so you can sort of see it uh, for you there. Oh, it doesn't like that. Hang on a sec. It's gone blurry for some reason. There we go. So if you type in, if you want to use a CD just for an example, uh, whatever your drive on your CD is, on this particular computer I've built, it's actually a D drive, but you can call it wherever you want. And this is, there is three versions of what you can do to make it work. But if you just type in, say, the letter of your drive, which is mine is D, so you do the mount D, D colon, uh, backslash, <laughs> minus T, I've never really worked out what all this means, it doesn't really matter, CD-ROM, it's basically just telling uh, DOSBox to use your CD. So we type that in there, and there we go. So now you can actually go on to your, well I don't have a disk in there, but you can you, to change the directly root, you can type in D, and it will probably get confused because there's nothing there. Um, and as you can see, there's nothing there. <laughs> there is actually a recovery on this disk. It was just to show you an example. And from this, you can load games, install games within DOS by DOSBox even, and all that sort of jazz. If you're getting value so far from this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, so if we go back to E then, so if you can easily go back by just typing E code. Bear in mind that E can be whatever letter you've told it to be. And But I would highly recommend when you're doing your first mount, just to make sure that it's games. So DOSBox will stay within inside um, games folder. And when, 
because that's it sees that like the hard drive so you're not accidentally going into windows or accidentally deleting stuff because you do not want to do that and sometimes I find it easier just to copy the games into my games folder and then go into DOS box and install them within there and it just keeps it all in the same place making it safer now if you've got a lot of games inside your folder if you put dir forward slash p that basically does it page by page so if you've got lots of as you can see i've actually got quite a few games I've got blake stone batman doom car i think that's stunt car racer duke one duke 3d f15 fifa 97 golf you get the idea there's quite a few games there so you can see there and that's basically what dos used to do back in the day um now there are lots of little pro um, little codes you can use. If for whatever reason that uh, little program didn't work for your CD, you can just type in help, actually, and it will basically give you all the commands um, that you'll need on DOSBite, a DOS box even. <laughs> I'm so used to calling it DOSBite. And that will basically just give you all the basic commands that you need. Press enter, or oh, if you type in info, I believe, um, no, it's not doing that. Okay, that's interesting. Um, but basically, that gives you all the programs that you need. Um, if you need to know anything else, I'm pretty sure if you type in help, it's not doing it today for some reason. Um, but it will come with that. And if you put info, oops, info, uh, F1, no, okay. Let's just mount that. Um, so yeah, basically, uh, if you type in help, it'll give you the different programs you can use, tells you what they are. Usually if you type in info, um, I'm probably just getting it wrong, because I'm... Uh, do -do 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 -do. Oh, one little cool little uh, power tip, actually. If you're using a slightly newer game within DOS, and your computer, for most of you, is way too powerful for the game, you can slow down the frame rate by tapping... Um, control 11 or control 12 and that basically speeds it up or slows it down um, which is quite handy so when I was playing FIFA 97 I found by slowing down the frame rate it was the game was able to play properly where before the computer was too powerful that's a cool little power tip um, but you can find out within DOS box um, you can find out all the programs or programming lines you need of code depending on what you want to do with the program um, YouTube just type in info or help again it should just help you that if not you can find it out on Google and uh, I hope this video is helpful at the end I'm going to show you two end cards which will give you even more value if you'd like to see more of DOS box <laughs> please feel free to comment in, comment in the comments below and feel free to ask your questions um, because obviously if you ask your questions of how to get the help I can actually look it up quickly and tell you in the comments uh, but anyway I hope you got value from today's video I hope it was interesting this is a brief guide on how to use it and uh, I hope it was helpful. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you down the road.